All right, you guys, we're going to do a little live stream here. I have to admit, Avoli called me yesterday and he said, Jono, you should do this video. And I was like, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it for the people. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. What's up, you guys? It's Jono. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome. All right, you guys. Welcome, welcome. We're going to do a little thing here. Uh, we're just going to hang out in my web browser and look at some of the Pokemon that are coming to Pokemon Go. So we'll go ahead and check this out. Um, I'm, I'm just looking at this. It says glitch Pokemon for all these guys. I believe that these are the... Um, these are the uh, unknowns from the Pokedex. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Um, I didn't look at what time it said the live stream was starting, so uh, I actually don't know. FLW Videos is here. Reliacanth will be an interesting one, by the way. CP is like 2.5K. Very interesting. You guys, are you excited about this? We're going to look at every single Pokemon in Generation 3. All these Pokemon are coming in about a month and a half in early December, so I figure it's a good time to look at these Pokemon and start to think about what is actually coming into the game so we can think about it. All right. Um... <clears throat> Shout out to everybody who's watching. I actually don't know how many people are watching. Let's go have a look at how many people are watching. I always open up my watch page so I can watch. See what you guys are up to over here. 71 watching. Holy carp! My streams have been getting bigger and bigger. I noticed that whenever I stream Pokemon Go, we have big streams. Maybe I should just stream Pokemon Go. Who knows? FSU is here! It's probably, it's probably true, honestly. Uh, they'll never, ever release the uh generation three they're probably just gonna cancel pokemon go they're like we didn't get as much money off of this as we thought so let's just cancel pokemon go right i think that's probably more likely than releasing gen 3 at this point but just in case they do release gen 3 just in case fsu is wrong which he never is all right uh let's just go ahead and cover the uh the new pokemon that we have all right so it says here that this is number 277 in the pokedex all right now i don't know if that's correct because they have all those extra numbers for, why is that decimal? Some of these are hex and some of them are decimal. I don't know what this means, you guys. Does anybody know what that means? Uh, I thought that it was Pokedex number. I assumed it would be Pokedex number. Um, since it goes sequentially, it looks like it's Pokedex. But then once you get to the um, 252, 253, I'm like, are those just not there or something? Now I want to go look at Pokemon Go and see. Um, does anybody know what's up with this? Is 277 the Pokedex number for Trico? Let's go look at it. Pokedex number for Trico. All right. Trico. I was going to do my, my Bulbasaur voice. Pokedex number 252. And this one says 277 right here. So apparently these are not Pokedex numbers. They have been messed up by all these extra... Um, glitch Pokemon, which is stupid. Yeah, it should have been 252. His Pokedex number is 252. So unfortunately, this is a weird list that has some kind of strange stuff over here that makes no sense. But either way, we can still go to Trico and look at his thing. I guess we'll start with Trico, you guys. Number 252 evolves into Gravile. Should we have some music? I guess we should get some music on, you guys. Let's get some music. Um, What can I play for music? Ugh. I don't know what I can actually play for music. I didn't think this stream very far through. Let's go think about what I can do for music. Um, music! We could do my Rocket League hype songs. You want the Rocket League hype songs or you guys want the more chill songs? Let's do the Rocket League hype songs. We'll play with VLC. Add to VLC's playlist. All right, you guys. Let me know if the music's too loud. We'll rock out a little bit. A little bit of rock out music. 
All right, let me know how the music volume is you guys put a one in the chat if the music volume is good If I did not mess everything up with the music just now one in the chat if the music is good And don't forget to drop a like you guys. What's up to my dude Eddie Mills gaming hanging out uh, FSU says play motorsport. Yeah, I'm gonna get right on that bro And we'll, we'll just make no money off of this stream. That's a good plan kind of like I've done with all of my previous videos too I've been putting so much copyright music on my videos lately that it's ridiculous you guys really it is ridiculous Okay, let's go have a look at Trico, he is a grass type. He's a solid grass type. There's no mix of the type. A lot of the Gen 2 and Gen 3 Pokemon started mixing types. They had like dual types. All right, that's my that's my slash right there. Okay, but um, this one he's just a solid grass type. He's just like Bulbasaur. There's pretty much no difference between him and a Bulbasaur, from what I can tell. I mean, maybe he gets different moves because it's Gen 3. Ash's Trico. Ash Ketchum has a Sceptile that he caught as a Trico in Trees a Crowd. It evolved into Gravile in the Explode and Clear. Explode and Clear. Oh, oh that's a funny name. All right, let's go see Trico. I actually haven't looked at these pages very much, so um, I'm curious what I'm actually looking at. As I go through the Pokemon a little bit better, we will uh, we'll get a little bit better look at these Pokemon. This is my first time looking at Bulbapedia. Um, I've looked at Bulbapedia before, but not that much, alright? So here's all the little animations. If you guys aren't familiar with Bulbapedia, honestly, they are amazing. I love Bulbapedia. They have all this great little animations and stuff like that. Um, gotta say, I do love it. Let's. I just want to see what moves he can get. Doesn't it say the move list somewhere? I know we have a move list in here somewhere. Here we... No, no, no. Oh, we're gonna find it. Game locations, that's good, that's good. They tell you so much stuff in here, I really just want to see. Whoa, Trico appears as a trophy. Nice, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I love Bulbapedia, you guys. They tell you so much information. It's actually too much information, though, because it's going to be hard to move through all this stuff. Where's his moves, all right? Where's his moves? <clears throat> We're going to go through every single Pokemon, you guys, but I just haven't looked at uh, Bulbapedia before, so... I would like to find his moves, and then I can move on to another Pokemon. We'll go to his next evolution. What the heck? Learn set? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, learn set. It says Generation 7 right here. I'm like, I only want to see Gen 3. By leveling up, Gen 3. We got Pound, Leer, Absorb, Quick Attack, Pursuit, Screech, Mega Drain, Agility Slam, Detect, and Giga Drain, alright? And by TM and HM, he can learn a bunch of other moves. Focus Punch, Bullet Seed, Hidden Power, um, Solar Beam, you can TM a Solar Beam on this guy. Frustration, Dig, you can give him a Dig with the TM, Iron Tail. Looks like he can do a lot of stuff. He can learn Cut, you need to cut it! Alright, you guys, that's kind of cool. Let's move on to the next one. I spent enough time on this guy. Next up is Gravile. Number two on the Generation 3 Pokedex, you guys. Is this going to take forever? I'll probably be here until FSU starts streaming, seriously. I'm going to be here forever. <clears throat> Gravile, let's go look at his moveset. Basically, all I really want to see is the moveset. So, I want to see what moves these guys can get. Now, just because... He can learn these moves in the original Pokemon game does not mean that he can learn them uh, in Pokemon Go. There's a little bit of a difference, but this does give us a little bit of an idea of what he can learn. Such as Pound, we know Pound is in the game. Um, Quick Attack is not in the game, interestingly. I guess they, can, they couldn't put it in because Quick Attack is quicker than another attack and a, you don't have that in Pokemon Go, so I guess they didn't put it in there because they didn't want to deal with it. So, there we go. Michael Golden Fisherman is on the channel. Jamie Pokemon Go Boss is on the channel. What's up? FSU is on the channel. Seriously, though, that's lit. What's up, my dude? Somebody texted me. Who that texted me? I have no idea who this is. Oh, um, it's the internet guy. The internet guy messaged me. Um, <clears throat> the internet guy, you guys check this out. The internet guy came yesterday. 
This is hilarious. The internet guy came, all right, and he left me some sweet piece of equipment. I'm like, this looks like some serious AT&T, like, important equipment. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to have this thing. So I just texted him. I was like, bro, you, um, you know, you, you forgot some equipment here. Go ahead and come get it whenever you want, you know? Because <laughs> I'm like, I, don't, I really don't want it. 71 watching. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, we're just kind of going through every single Pokemon. I'm going to move a little bit quicker on these just so that we can get through them. All right, Sceptile is the third evolution of your Gen 3 Grass Starter, okay? Sceptile, and look, we got a Mega Sceptile right here. Whoa, sick. That's pretty sick, actually. Let's go check out his moves. Um, Fury Cutter, Leaf Storm. I'm um, just looking for anything cool. Um, Leaf Blade, Slam. Leaf Storm! We already had Leaf Storm. Apparently it's a better Leaf Storm. Okay. <clears throat> Shout out to everybody watching. Thanks so much for watching. Um, somebody said Metagross or Dragonite. I'm going to say Metagross. Metagross is about to mess this game up. People don't even know how strong that guy is going to be. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Put a 7 in the chat if you guys are enjoying the stream. I'm curious if everybody's enjoying it. This is an idea that was given to me by Avoli, my fearless moderator, one of my best friends in the entire world. Avoli was like, hey, dude, you should probably do this video. And I was like, no, you do it, bro. You do it. And he was like, no, you do it. And I was like, no, you do it. And he's like, no, seriously, like, you do it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. So here we are. We're doing it, you guys. Let's go check out Torchic. That is your fire uh, starter. If I could choose... A starter in generation 3 which I don't know why they didn't let us choose a starter in generation 2 all right but if I could choose a starter in gen 3 it would be Torchic so I could get a Blaziken because Blaziken is gonna be lit like Litten it's gonna be lit like Blaziken all right you guys Torchic let's go see the moves Torchic scratch growl ember sand attack which will never be in Pokemon go because they won't fix the gym system uh, fire spin flame burst um, quick attack, which will never be in Pokemon Go because they won't fix the gym system. Um, slash, mirror move, which will never be in Pokemon Go because they won't fix the gym system. Uh, flamethrower, alright, so at least we have some of the stuff in here. Thanks everybody for watching. Avoli's here, there he is. I knew he was lurking here somewhere. I knew if I said his name he would he would say something. There he is. Alright you guys, this is Avoli's idea. Big shout out to Avoli. Make sure you subscribe his channel. There's his name, alright? Go click on his name right here, little dots. Click on go to channel, alright? And then when you get to his channel, like I was just trying to do, but it didn't work. What the crap? It's not working. Is it opening in a different window? Do I have a different browser open? I don't. Oh, here it is. Yes, I do have a different browser open. There it is, you guys. Avoli's channel. Make sure you subscribe to this fool. He's got 314 subs. He needs more. All right, make it happen. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, my God. I never saw his... Ah, I wasn't even on the Mon is Right that day, but there was me. That's me. Pichu guessed one dollar. Pichu guessed one Mon. Oh, my God. Pichu guessed one Mon. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. He put me in. He put me in the thumbnail. I love it so much. Oh, my God. Look, I'm in his featured channels. I'm so featured right now. Oh my god, I'm featured. Alright, you guys, shout out to Avoli. Give him a sub, you guys. I'm on his mod is right, uh, mod is right stream. Oh, the mod is right? Oh, should I copy Avoli and do the mod is right? Oh my god, and I'll give mod to somebody for guessing something correctly? Oh my god, I'll give you mod. The mod is right. Oh, I totally just had a mistake idea. I said something wrong and it turned into a good idea. Oh my god, the mod is right. Should I do a mod game, you guys? I don't even know what it would look like. I don't even know what game that would be. Okay, let's move on, you guys. Let's go to Combuskin. What the heck? Torchic turns into Combuskin. Okay, I did not know that. You guys, if you didn't know that Torchic evolves into Combuskin, drop a three in the chat. Okay, you guys, drop a three in the chat. I'm just curious. Did anybody actually know that? I had no idea, okay? I actually did not know that. That makes no sense to me. Um, I knew it goes to Blaziken, but I didn't know the middle one, you guys. The Voli says, do it. The mod is right. <laughs> I'll just mod anybody. I'll be like FSU. If you donate $20, I'll give you mod no matter who you are or what you say. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's what we'll do from now. The mod is right. I actually can't think of what game we would play for the mod is right. <laughs> Jamie says, stop asking for mod. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Um, I forgot why I told you to put three in the chat, but everybody put three in the chat. Oh, yeah, they didn't know that um, Combuskin is the next evolution of Blaziken. I, I did not know that, you guys. I really didn't know it. Let's go look at the moves. Double kick. He starts out with that move. Uh, evolves to get another double kick. I don't know why that's um, <clears throat> what that's about. Flame charge. 
Sky Uppercut would be sick. Man. Uh, bulk Up? We're not gonna get moves like that. Quick Attack will never get moves like that. Sand Attack will never get those moves, unfortunately. Apparently you can TM and HM almost every single move to this guy. That's tight. Alright, you guys, one of my favorite Gen 3 types, okay? He's dual fighting type and fire type. He is Blaziken! Oh, FSU's live, you guys. Look at it, FSU's live. Let's go say hi on FSU stream. Oh, I'm first. Am I seriously first? First uh, right now. Oh, my God. In before 100 likes. A. In before 1K viewers. A. <laughs> I'm so first on his stream right now. Oh, my God. Do you guys love FSU? I love FSU. Okay, 200 watching. All right, I had to go spam up FSU's chat, but I'm actually not going to be able to watch today. Look, this fool found a Snorlax already. Nice one, FSU. All right, you guys. I'm a big fan of uh, my dude, FSU. I can't watch him today because we're going to do a really long stream this morning. All right, we're going to go look at every single Pokemon in Gen 3. By the time you guys are done watching this Pokemon, you should know every Gen 3 Pokemon. Or watching this video, I can't talk about. Uh, by the time you're done watching this video, you should know every single Gen 3 Pokemon, okay? It's gonna take a longy, long, long time, alright? If you guys want to duel watch me and FSU, go for it. Um, I just wanted to get this content on my channel, and I didn't want to do the same stream as FSU. I was gonna play Korea this morning, but I was like, um, <clears throat> you know, I can't, I can't do that while my man FSU plays it. I would be competing with his stream. Not like, I mean, it would be a bad move on my part because he's gonna get all the viewers, which he's gonna get anyway. If you guys want to go watch FSU, I don't mind. Um, if you can dual stream and watch both streams, that'll be lit. Let's go look at this little guy, Mudkip. This is your water type starter. If you were to start out Gen 3 um, and and pick your starter, this would be one of the one of the choices. All right, so let's go learn this move set. We got Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, uh, Mud Slap, Rock Throw, Whirlpool, Hydro Pump. He's a water type that can get Rock Throw. That's kind of interesting. Um, Moshi TV says I already know every Gen 3 Pokemon. Well, then go ahead and name every single one, okay? Name every single one, and if, when you name it, I'll give you a prize. That's how we'll do the mod is right, okay? If you can name every single Pokemon, I'll give you the mod, okay? Just kidding. I'm not really going to do that. Um, let's see. Moderator Sylveon is here. She says, long stream hype. It's true. As long as my internet doesn't fail, we're going to do a long stream. All right. So it looks like our little water type guy right here, Mudkip. All right, little Mud Kipperoo. Let's see what he evolves into. He's gonna evolve into Marsh Stomp. Marsh Stomp. Oh man, he's gonna stomp me out. He's a stomper. He's a real stomper. Oh my God, Marsh Stomp. He's a mud fish Pokemon. I'm like, bro, that's tight. He's water and ground type. Remember, um, Omastar is water and rock type, you guys. But there's no water ground type, so this is the water ground type. Name off all the Gen 3 Pokemon in order without looking. Exactly. Yeah, Mushi, if you type every single one, you'll probably get timed out, homie. And plus, I'm not going to mod you for that. <laughs> Seriously, though. Uh, 46 watching. I know we, lo we lost a lot because uh, FSU is live. No worries, though. Shout out to my boy, FSU. <clears throat> okay, let's go look at the moves on this bad boy. Mud shot, water gun, mud slap, mud shot, water gun, mud slap, mud bomb, muddy water. What? Muddy water. Earthquake. He gets earthquake. That's going to be exciting. Okay. Earthquake. Very nice. Let's see. He's got breeding moves as well. You can breed moves into him. All right. So there we go. When you go to learn set, then you can go to other generations right here. Um, we only want generation three. And that'll show you just the moves he can get for Generation 3, which is Mud Slap, Water Gun, Mud Slap, Water Gun, Mud Shot, Muddy Water, Earthquake. Same thing, okay? So there's really not a big difference there. You guys, if you know all the Gen 3 Pokemon, put the number 7 in the chat, alright? Number 7 in the chat if you know all the Gen 3 Pokemon. If I'm completely wasting your time right now because you know it all, just put the number 7 in the chat. Just kidding. Um, it's never a waste of time to watch Jono. It's fun. All right, you guys. Let's go to Swampert. Did we already do Swampert? I don't think we did. Swampert. Let's look at your moveset. Oh, yeah. Basically the same. Muddy Water, Earthquake. Wait, I think we did look at Swampert already because he had Earthquake. Did the other guy have Earthquake? 
I don't think so. Mark Stomp, did you get Earthquake? What just happened? Marsh Stomp, Earthquake? I think he does, though. Yeah, Earthquake. All right, so Marsh Stomp can get Earthquake. Marsh Stomp, Schwampert. They, they should have kept the SH, you know, Schwampert. I'm going to keep it Schwampert. All right, you guys, if you're interested in Schwampert, Aboli already knows them all. Moderator Sylveon put the number 69. Swag. Swag. <laughs> all right, uh, that's tight. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. We're doing the little, um... We're doing a little stream here where we look at every single Gen 3 Pokemon, okay? This next one is called Poochina. Now we have officially got out of the um out of the Pokemon that are starters. I really only know the starters because I played Pixelmon. Alright. Dab for Pro Dexes. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Another dab for him anyway. Alright, so I actually don't know these uh I don't know these Pokemon, you guys. That's why I wanted to do this for myself too. Because I have no idea what these Pokemon are. So let's just go ahead and do it. <clears throat> let's do it. All right, so let's see. Poochina, a dog Pokemon. It's got. It says bite Pokemon. Apparently, that's his category. It's a bite Pokemon. I, I don't know why they have bite types. All right, so its type is dark. I don't know where this whole bite thing came from, but whatever. Let's go see the moves. It looks like a dark type. So then let's learn. Says so probably a bunch of dark moves. We got bite. We got crunch. Bite and crunch. All right. We got sucker punch. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Let's see. We got Tackle. I don't think Tackle is even in Pokemon Go. Is Tackle in Pokemon Go, you guys? Uh, somebody said, am I watching FSU right now? How could I be watching FSU right now? I'm live. Seriously, though. Um, I usually am watching FSU, but um, <clears throat> right now I am not because I am live. Oh, my neck is like, I woke up with a, with a neck issue this morning, you guys. It's been like that every day. 420! Blaze it. Blaze it, Ken. All right, you guys, let's move on. Um, that was Poochina. This one is Mightyena. Whoa, that looks cool. That's tight. It's another bite Pokemon with a dark type. All right, that's kind of cool. I'm liking that. This one has Snarl, Crunch, Bite, Odor Sleuth. Apparently, it's going to make some kind of odor. Wow, I like that. Okay. Uh, Sucker Punch, Crunch. So we got some good ones here. Assurance. I don't know what that is. Scary face. Oh, I would love to learn scary face. Tight. Oh my god, that's tight. Look, scary face isn't part of the Gen 3 moves, though. Oh no, it is. Yes, scary face. Oh, I hope they bring scary face. I hope they bring scary face so bad. What did he say? Is that a gun? I can't even tell. That looks like a gun. Um, When are Pokemon 3 coming out? I see the gums are changed. The gums? I don't know what that means. The gums? Uh, maybe it's because it's a bite type Pokemon. It has like really snarly gums. Let's go see. You can't see the gums really, so it doesn't really count. All right, I don't know what he's talking about, you guys. Let's move on. Uh, Mighty Ina. Okay, now we got Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. Is this a fish? No, it's a tiny raccoon Pokemon. Tiny raccoon before Generation Four. Interesting. Normal type. Whatever this thing is. Okay, we got a little raccoon thing. Let's have a look at it. Learn set, tackle, headbutt, odor sleuth, baby doll eyes. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. Um, pin missile, mud sport, covet, flail, takedown. All right, I think that we have looked at these moves pretty much enough. Some kind of tiny raccoon Pokemon. Uh, Zigzag Zangoose. Does this thing evolve into Zangoose? I don't know. Maybe later. Linoon. Alright, Linoon. A rushing Pokemon is what they're categorizing that one as. Is a normal type. Let's go look at his moves. Play Rough. Rototiller. Tackle. Tail Whip. Headbutt. Fury Swipes. Covet. Slash. Double Edge. I think that Double Edge is going to be a good one if they actually implement that, so we'll see. What's up, Pikachu girl? She made it. It's the weekend, so she actually made it. That's nice. Zig is the new Rattata. Avoli says Zig is the new Rattata. Got it. Or the new, like, um, or the new, uh, Centret, basically. We basically have a new Centret. All right. There's probably enough time to spend on that one. Let's move on to Wurmple. 
Wormple is a worm. This is our new Caterpie. Okay. It's a worm Pokemon. Let's go see the move set. Wow. Nothing as far as moves. Look at this thing. Tackle, String Shot, Poison Sting, Bug Bite. That means he's only going to get like two moves, Tackle and Bug Bite, because they won't give us String Shot and they won't give us Poison Sting. So, yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. <clears throat> Weekend's rule. Shout out to Pikachu girl. She's watching on the weekend, man. She's getting that watch time in. I love it. All right, Wurmple evolves into Silcoon, which is a Cocoon Pokemon. Once it evolves into Silcoon, then what does it turn into? Oh, Beautifly. Okay, let's go look at the moves before we get there, though. All right, let's go look at the moves. It can only do the move Harden. It cannot learn any moves by breeding, TM, tutoring, or prior evolution. Oh, no, in prior evolution, it can get the same moves it could already get. So, yeah, you guys, it can only move. It can only learn Harden. Kind of crazy. Is Gabriel here, moderator? Gabriel's here. Hey! Shout out to all teams, you guys. You guys, put what team you are in Pokemon Go, all right? Everybody's here for Pokemon Go. We all play Pokemon Go. I think everybody here plays. So put what team you are. Are you Team Valor? Are you Team Mystic? Or are you Team Windstink? All right, let me know, you guys. Pikachu Girl has an exam tomorrow. You better study. I can't help you. You got to help yourself. You better study. All right. <clears throat> all right, you guys. Pretty lit stream, honestly. Let's go to Beautifly. Flying and Bug type, okay? We got another Butterfree, basically. They were like, we haven't got enough Butterflies in this game. Let's do it, all right? Ah, uh, yeah, Lizard Logan, Team Winstinct, Mushi TV, Team Mystic, Jamie Pokemon Go Boss. Uh, I can't see because somebody's spamming. Uh, Instinct, Man uh, is Velour. I vlogs was Mystic Avoli. I think you guys know what team Avoli is on. All right, well, I can't tell what team he's on. I vlogs Awa is team Mystic. Um, in the Pokemon mind is team Winstinct. Layton 009 team Valor. Pikachu girl. Uh, she said she studied. All right, good job, you studied. Um, team Winstinct. Moderator Sylveon. Jamie Pokemon Go boss. Poke Go walking. Milton Rivera. Valor for life. Squirrelcraft. Team Valor. Team Valor. Uh, moderator Sylveon says no spamming. I know, seriously though. Uh, moderator Gabriel, Team Winstinct. Yeah, you guys, that's lit. Thanks everybody for watching. We're just kind of like looking through all these Pokemon right now. Let's go and look at Cascoon. We have another. Does this thing evolve? What the heck? Silcoon and Cascoon. Probably evolved from Wormpole is what it looks like. Let's go look at Cascoon. Does anybody know this? It evolves from Wormpole depending on its personality value starting at level 7 and it evolves into Duskox starting at level 10. What the heck? Does anybody know about this? Apparently one Pokemon can evolve into two different Pokemon. It's like another Eevee. It can turn into one or the other. So it may turn into a Butterfly or it may turn into a Moth is what it looks like. Duskox. Moths always have like dust on their wings, you know, so he's a poison moth. So apparently we have this moth. Oops, I should have just clicked that. Alright, Gust, Confusion, Poison Powder, Moonlight, Venoshock, Silver Wind, Psybeam, nice. Uh, Whirlwind, Toxic, Bug Buzz, those are all great moves that we'll expect to see in Pokemon Go. I don't know about Silver Wind and Venoshock though, they should bring those. Um, we'll see if they're Gen 3 moves. Confusion, Protect, Moonlight, Psybeam, Whirlwind, Light Screen, Silverwind, Toxic. So there's our Generation 3 moves that we might expect to see. Not bad, not bad. Alright guys, I think that that's cool on that little group. So we have Wormpole, which can evolve into Silcoon or Cascoon. Who knows how they're going to do that. Maybe they'll do Day and Night on that one. And then it can be Beautifly or Dustox after that. Let's go to Lotad. Lotad is a little water weed Pokemon, so he's water and grass type. Very interesting right there. <clears throat> Can't wait for Slow King. Yeah, seriously though, Slow King's gonna be lit. Hope you guys are enjoying the music. It's just some music that I throw on during my streams sometimes when it's like way too quiet and it was way too quiet on my stream, so I was like, let's do it. Let's go look at the learn set. All right, Lotad has got Absorb, Bubble, Bubble Beam, Energy Ball, Zen Headbutt, Rain Dance, 
missed. A couple of these are stuff that we could expect to see in the actual game. Astonish, ghost type for this guy. Let's go look at his next evolution. Alright, we'll try to move through these guys a little bit quicker. Lombre. Alright, we got Lombre here. Doesn't he look like he's got a sombrero on? He does. He looks like he's got a sombrero and a mustache. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you, fam. We got Astonish. Um, Growl, Absorb, Bubble, Bubble Beam, Fury Swipes. I hope they bring that to Pokemon Go. Zen Headbutt, Hydro Pump. There we go. Hydro Pump. That's what I was looking for. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so we got Lombre, second evolution of Lotad, and he evolves into Lud Ludicolo. Oh yeah, that's definitely a sombrero, you guys. Look, he's like a duck. Carefree Pokemon, how did they come up with these names? Like, where did this come up from? Oh my god. <clears throat> Moderator Gabriel likes the music. Um, it's honestly just some music from, uh, from, what's that game where you play soccer with cars? Um, I forgot the name anyway. Uh, what is that game where you play soccer with cars? Who remembers the name of it? Somebody put it in the chat. I can't think of it. Uh, Rocket League. Rocket League. There we go. Rocket League! Okay, we got C-Dot. That's our next one here, you guys. A little acorn Pokemon. I swear they just made this stuff up. Acorn Pokemon. Let's go see his moveset. Bide. Harden. Those are moves that you expect to see on, uh, on, um, like... Metapod or something like that. Nature Power, Synthesis, Sunny Day, that's a fire type, interesting. An Explosion, whoa, this guy can straight up explode. Okay, not bad, not bad. C Dot is gonna evolve into uh, Nuzleaf. My little boy right here, Nuzleaf. A Wily Pokemon, I swear they made this stuff up. They just made it up, that's not true. All right, Wily Pokemon, he's so Wily. Um, Ludicolo is the Quagsire of Gen 3, interesting. He He's just hanging out and doing his own thing, apparently. I kind of don't even know what that means. Pikachu Girl, I'm your biggest fan and I'm Team Yellow. Thank you for the comment, Pikachu Girl. She, I think she posted that like 10 times now. <laughs> uh, I'll be seeing nonstop Lotad. Apparently, Lotad is going to be a common type Pokemon. I, I believe it, actually. All right. So, you got Razor Leaf. We got Pound. It's got Harden. That's interesting. It's got Nature Power, Razor Wind, Faint Attack. I believe that's in the game already. Leaf Blade is probably going to come. And this guy evolves into Shiftry, I'm pretty sure. Shiftry, dual type grass and dark Pokemon. Gen 3 evolves from Nuzleaf when exposed to a Leaf Stone. So this could be one of those that we need an evolution item for you guys. The names come from Japan. I'm pretty sure that they converted the names to English because they have different names in Japanese. Um, Salamence is the new Dragonite. That is true. That is true. Let's go look at this guy's learn set. Razor Leaf, Faint Attack, Whirlwind, Nasty Plot. Nice, dude. I want to find a nasty plot. Okay, Leaf Tornado, Hurricane. Already in the game. Hurricane is in the game. And Leaf Storm. Hopefully they bring some of these moves to the game. Let's move on to Ninkata. Ninkata evolves into Ninjask, starting at level 20. I was just reading this right here. If you have an extra Pokeball, a Shedinja will appear in the player's party when Ninkata evolves. An extra Pokeball is not necessary to obtain Shedinja in Generation 3. Interesting. Uh, Ninkata Shedinja, alright, evolves into Ninjask, so apparently that's three uh, evolutions. Let's go look at his learn set. Scratch, Harden, Absorb, Fury Swipes, Mud Slap, Metal Claw, that's already in the game I believe, or it's coming in the game. Um, dig. I don't know why they didn't put dig in the game aside from because you, you dig underground and they can't hit you anymore So they don't want to put in complex stuff like that. Uh, are we still gonna see gen 1 Pokemon appear in Pokemon Go? Yes Skello Productions. Yes, we will No reason not to they're just gonna be less common Ninkata is gonna evolve into Ninjask all right, Ninjask is some kind of like butterfly. That's kind of cool. Ninja Pokemon, Ninja Butterfly. If you were a ninja and you could fly, you'd be like the most like skilled ninja like ever. You know what I mean? Like if you were a ninja and you could fly, wow. Lizard Logan says Dig is in the game. No, it's not. Lizard, why are you lying? No, is it really though, Lizard? Let me know if it is. Um, don't know. 
Pikachu girl, so you have been watching for four years? Did she say she's been watching since the beginning, since I started your channel? Oh my god. No, you, Pikachu... Pikachu girl, don't lie. Nobody's been watching that long. I've been for... I, I was playing totally different games then. Everybody started watching my channel in October and November and December of last year. Anybody who says they were watching from before, I would remember you, alright? No reason to say you've been watching since the beginning, four years ago, when you were what, like three? <laughs> and then, Pikachu girl. She said ever since you started the channel, um, I mean that was four years ago, it was a long time ago, probably not though, probably not. People come on the, cha on the stream and they say that all the time, and I'm like, probably not though, because I started in 2014, um, just probably not, you know, most, the, there's very few who have been watching that long, I remember some of them, there's a guy named Kraken the Booty who used to watch me when I was playing Clash of Clans, he shows up every once in a while, and I'm like, dude, you have been watching since the beginning, but I remember the ones who have, you know, because mostly people would comment back then. Alright, you guys, we have got Shedinja. It's called a Shed Pokemon. I swear they made this up, you guys. They just made this up. Shed Pokemon? Like, what does that even mean? I have no idea. He's a bug type and a ghost type. That's actually kind of sick. Alright. Uh, let's go check out his moveset. Scratch, Harden, Absorb, Fury Swipes, Spite, Shadow Sneak, Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball. We have Shadow Ball, Phantom Force. Alright. So that's kind of interesting. Shedinja, the ninja moth, whatever this thing is. All right, let's move on to Taillo. Taillo. All right, you guys. I know, roasted. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I do roast people. I really just don't like when people get on my stream and say that they've been watching me since the very beginning. I'm like, you guys, there's nobody who's been watching that long. And honestly, the people who have been watching that long stopped watching, and I'm not mad at them about it at all, but I play different games than I used to play, so there's no reason anybody watching now would have been watching four years ago, and there's no reason anybody watching four years ago would be watching now. It just doesn't make any sense, unless they just love me so much, but most of the time I don't really find that to be the, the case, you know? So... Yeah, I don't know. That's just one of my pet peeves. When people say that, I'm like, eh, probably not, though. Probably not. I recognize the people who have been watching that long. Uh, GD Fury. I am onto you like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Pikachu girl is so salty right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give her a heart. Heart at Pikachu girl. <clears throat> I'm gonna make her too salty. She's gonna leave. She's like, I'm out of here. Taylo, uh, learn set. This is like another bird, you guys. It looks like we have another bird. Quick attack, wing attack, aerial ace, air slash, brave bird. Typical bird Pokemon. We just got another bird Pokemon here. Swello, Taylo and Swello. I think that these are gonna be like the new, um, like Firo, you know? What's that one called, Firo? All right. <clears throat> so, Taylo, Swello. These don't look like particularly impressive ones. Quick attack. Um, Brave Bird. Look, his, he's got a move called Reversal. Oh my god, he's got a move called Reversal. You guys know that's my best friend. He's my best YouTube friend. I never had a, uh, I never had anyone. Somebody said, did you not see my comment? My friend Diego from Pokemon Go Fest just texted me. Did I not see his comment? I don't know, bro. There's a lot of comments right now. Um... I don't see anybody in here named Diego. Um, no, I guess I didn't see it. No, I don't see him in here. Eli's here. Eli, what's up? He met me at San Jose Fest. Oh my God, dude, nice. All right, guys, let's move on. We're si we're sitting here looking at the moves for Swello. We should move on. I'm distracted right now. All right, Shroomish. This is a fun one. Shroomish. Mushroom Pokemon. Okay, this is one of the few that I'm actually familiar with because I saw these. Oh, there's Diego. Hey, Diego. I got a mod, Diego. All right, Diego just got mod. That's Diego. That's my homie. I've been watching since Chicago. Thank you, bro. Um, we're gonna hide your comment, Layton. Um. Let's see, Diego, I just added Diego as a mod. Dude, Diego, I know in real life. He's a homie. He's actually been hanging out on my channel for a really long time. All right, or not a long, a long time, but since Chicago. He's a really, really cool guy that I met in Chicago. Him and his girlfriend are the two coolest people I met in Chicago. I was so stoked when I met them. They were like the only people who were just chilling during that event. 
Prodigy, that's not prodigies. Oh my god, you are about to get so banned from my channel. I don't allow fakes on my channel, you guys. Yup, you're a fake. You just got so banned, bro. You have no content. Blocked. Get off my channel, fake. You are blocked. Get off my channel, you fake. I don't want any fakes on my on my account, you guys. That was not a real Prodigies Nation, you guys. I knew it because the name didn't even match. <clears throat> Alright. Shout out to the dude from Israel. I can never pronounce your name. Okay, let's see. Which one are we on right now? We were on Shroomish. We were looking at Shroomish moves. Alright. Shroomish can learn Tackle, Stun Spore, which we'll never get, Leech Seed, which we'll never get, Mega Drain, which we'll never get, Headbutt, at least we can get that, Poison Powder, we'll never get, Giga Drain, we'll never get, um, Toxic, I, I believe Toxic is in the game. Alright, Seed Bomb is in the game, so at least there's that. Now, Breloom is the evolved form of Shroomish. Breloom. Hey, there's Diego playing Clash Royale while you speak these. Nice. Diego's on here. Diego, welcome to the Mod Squad. That's my real life friend. Met that dude at Chicago Fest. The only good thing to come out of Chicago Fest was all the amazing people that I met. I should have caught at least five times more unknowns than I caught while I was there, and five times more here across while I was there and I should have caught five times more legendaries while I was there but you guys know that their event was a complete failure and none of those things were possible if you paid the money to go you did not get to do those things so that's unfortunate but I did get to meet Diego and his girlfriend whose name I unfortunately forgot <laughs> but yeah they're both um, two super super amazing people that I was really happy to meet while I was there let's go look at the moves for um, what is this thing called? Breloom. Alright, Breloom. Let's go look at the moves for Breloom. Mock Punch. Absorb, Stun Spore, Leech Seed, Mock Punch again. Mega Drain, Headbutt, Counter. Counter is in the game right now. Uh, Force Palm, whatever that is. Mind Reader, Sky Uppercut, Seed Bomb, and Dynamic Punch. A couple of these are actually in the game, so that's pretty cool. Um. Big love to Pikachu girl, big love to everybody else on the stream, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, Frank Nye says Chicago was a bust, indeed, it was one of the worst experiences of my life, you guys. One of the worst experiences of my life, cannot believe that we paid so much money to go there and they didn't even have an event, like the event literally did not even happen. We went into the park and there was nothing happening and we waited hours to get in there and then they told us to leave because the event was a bust. And it's just like, you guys, this can't be the way that you, like, treat people who play your game. You know what I mean? Like, you can't treat people that way. It's not, it's not fair, it's not right, and they barely even apologized for it, so I'm still kind of salty about it. But, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Spinda. Spinda. <clears throat> let's see. Life is a bust except when you're watching Jono plays all day. Seriously, though, life is more important than that. Life is never a bust. If you're alive, then you're winning, all right? If you woke up this morning, you are winning. All right, let's move on. Spinda, the Spot Panda Pokemon. You guys, they made this up. They just made it up. Spot Panda, it looks like a panda with spots. They're like, oh, it's the Spot Panda Pokemon. Like, why? I don't understand it, okay? Um, to the person from Israel named Nikki, you should probably just change your name to Nikki so people can actually read it, especially if you're gonna be watching English-speaking streams. Um, we got 100% Hitmontop, or no, not Hitmontop, uh, sorry, Murkrow in, um, in West Sack. I can't go for it. Pikachu Girl's getting salty again. Alright, let's move on. We probably looked at this guy long enough, but it doesn't look like a very important Pokemon. Um, Spinda. Does Spinda evolve into Wingull? It doesn't look like it. No, it looks like Spinda is its own Pokemon all by itself. It's just one of those that just sits there all alone and doesn't evolve. Maybe it evolves later. So this is Wingull, this is a Seagull Pokemon. How did I guess that? I knew they were gonna call it Seagull Pokemon. All right, let's go look at the moves. This is probably gonna be near water, I'm guessing. Growl, Water Gun, Supersonic, Wing Attack, Mist, Water Pulse, Quick Attack, Air Cutter, Aerial Ace, Air Slash, Hurricane. A couple of those moves we can actually get in the game, so that's pretty cool. 
I remember I was so sad that I could not to go go to go, Pokemon Go Fest, and now I don't care. Yeah, it, there was a lot of people like that. They were like, I really want to go, I want to go. And then when they heard how bad it was, they were like, oh, glad I didn't go. <laughs> you know? So yeah, uh, RIP to my money. Um, <clears throat> RIP to my $1,200 that I spent to get there and then basically just hang out with people who were really cool. But, you know, we wanted to catch Pokemon while we were there. So that would have been nice. Uh, Wingull is going to evolve into Pelipper. Water bird Pokemon. Now this is sick, you guys. I'm actually really excited about this right here. I love Pokemon that just look cool and look crazy. All right. So um, yeah, this is one of those that looks really cool, looks really crazy. I'm definitely excited about it. Let's go check out the move set. Hurricane, Hydro Pump. That's what I'm talking about. Water Gun, Wing Attack, Water Pulse, Brine. That doesn't look like a very good move. Hydro Pump, Hurricane again here on the tail end. Very nice. Very nice. All right, that's cool. That's cool, you guys. So we have a gigantic uh, seagull Pokemon, and he turns into a pelican Pokemon. That's kind of cool. Let's go to Surskit. All right. I actually have no idea how far through we are right now. I don't even know if we're halfway through or what. All right. Surskit is a pond skater. If you guys have ever seen those little... um, What did he say about Draconius Go? Diego? Um, I'm salty about it, too. Yeah, I bet a lot of people are salty about it. Um, you know, like, a lot of money to get there, so, by the way, do you think about the cheap remake of Pokemon Go, it's that other new game, Poke Go Walking, I'm not gonna play it, um, it's a waste of time to play that game, it's gonna get sued into oblivion and they're not gonna exist anymore. I'll, all I'll say is if you guys are gonna play Draconia's Go, don't spend any money on it, you will not be refunded when they take the game off of the market, and when they take the game out of the store because they get sued into oblivion by Pokemon Go, and I fully think that that is what's gonna happen. So if you guys wanna play and entertain yourself for a few weeks, you know, that's fine, but that game is going to be gone. That game is going to be long gone. Do not spend any money on it. That's my only advice. That's the only thing I'll say about it. Uh, I do have respect for the people who developed that game. It's a good game. They did a good job on it, but they copied a lot of features directly out of Pokemon Go, and they're probably going to get sued for it. So they'll, oh, well, they, they won't get sued. They'll probably get a cease and desist, you know, and then they'll have to take it out of the Play Store, and then you guys won't have all your money that you spent on the game, and they're not going to refund you. So yeah, I would say don't spend any money on it. It's going to go away. Let's go look at this Pond Skater move set. Bubble, Quick Attack, Water Sport, Bubble Beam, Mist. I hope they bring Mist in the game. That's one that I keep seeing over and over again. Aqua Jet, that'd be cool. Uh, Baton Pass, whatever that is. Sticky Web would be nice, but we probably won't get that. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, Masquerain, okay. The evolved form of Surskit, Masquerain. All right, evolves from Surskit starting at level 22. Very interesting. This is some kind of interesting, like moth or something look it's got it looks like a mask doesn't it look like a mask it looks like a mask if you see the nose and see the eyes as the wings you know that's actually kind of cool yeah i love pokemon go more than that game i don't know i don't understand why anybody could love that game um because there's no characters in that game to love everybody loves pokemon we've all loved pokemon <laughs> they said they're not getting sued by pokemon i guarantee they are right now i guarantee it's making its way through the courts right now or they're you know drafting their cease and desist and sending it over so yeah i guarantee that they're not going to be around you guys they're going away <clears throat> guarantee they are going away all right you guys this is masquerade Go look at the moves. It's got a lot more moves than the evolution that it came from. Ominous Wind, Bubble, Water Sport, Sweet Scent, Gust, Scary Face again. There's that Scary Face again. Silver Wind, Air Slash, Bug Buzz. We have some of those. Whirlwind, Quiver Dance. Nice. Okay, let's move on to another one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3, you guys. Whalmer. I actually did not know about Whalmer. Whalmer! He sounds like he's saying Wilbur. Whalmer! <laughs> That's my country accent, you guys. I grew up in Arkansas. Some of you guys don't know about that. But, um, yeah, I did grow up in Arkansas. I'm hella country. All right. Whalmer. So this is Whalmer Fudd. Should I call him Whalmer Fudd? Oh, my God, Wilmer Fudd. You guys remember from the, um, you guys remember from the cartoons? Oh, my God, Wilmer Fudd. I'm hunting for webbits. All right, you guys. Uh, I just dated myself, like, so bad. Oh, my God, I'm old. All right, you guys. Let's go look at his moves. Splash. Growl, Water Gun, Roll Out, Roll Out, Whirlpool, Astonish, Water Pulse, Mist, there's that Mist again, there's that Brine again, I want to get Brine in the game, uh, Amnesia, ooh, make him forget his moves, 
Uh, dive looks good. It looks like a water version of Dig, right? Dive, isn't that probably the water version of Dig? That makes sense. You guys, drop it in the chat. Is Dive a water version of Dig where you just go under the water and then come back up and, and attack them so they miss their, their attack? Whalmer! <clears throat> oh my god. Fury, I, wa I really want to meet you because you're my idol. I don't think you'll come to Denmark. I already, I thought I said earlier, bro, I, w I would like to come to Denmark. And I obviously don't have the money to do that, so if you want to donate like a thousand dollars and buy me a plane ticket, that'd be great. I will come. But um, other than that, I can't. I don't have the money for it. I already spent too much money on trips this year. Alright, Whale Lord, you guys. This is one of my favorite Pokemon in the entire game. As soon as I found out that this thing exists, I was like, whoa. I was like, oh my god. Look at this thing. Noble Roar, Soak, Heavy Slam, Splash. Water Gun, Roll Out, Growl, uh, Whirlpool, Water Pulse, Water Spout, Dive, Hydro Pump. This dude is like loaded with good moves. Okay, this is going to be a sick Pokemon. It should have a lot of HP. Whale Lord will have so much HP unless Niantic nerfs him, which of course could happen. Yeah, if they nerf him, that's one thing, but he should have a crazy amount of HP. It should actually be pretty good. 93% Snorlax, but he's only level 1, 47 CP. Rest in peace, Snorlax. I ain't getting you. Shout out to Max the Boss Gaming. Shout out to Milton Rivera. Shout out to Pikachu Girl. Shout out to Noah Jacobs. Shout out to Frank Nye. Shout out to Lizard Logan. Void Ventures. Super Kid 108. Um, Rolly Gaming 197. GD Fury. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Thanks for kicking it with me, you guys. We got like 50 watching, okay? I know that there's other people who are live, but I really wanted to be live this morning and do this stream. I wanted to get this out there. We are going to literally look at every single Pokemon in Gen 3. We're just going one by one. This one is Skitty. Okay. Skitty. There's the Japanese name. Eneko. All right. Whatever. I don't know what that is. Um, normal type Pokemon Gen 3 evolves into Delcaddy. Uh, is a kitten Pokemon. Oh, it's so cute. You guys, it's a kitten. Oh my god, Skitty! It, it's short for Kitty. Oh my god, it's like a variation of Kitty. Shout out to Max Teavers. Shout out to PokeGo Walking. Shout out to ProDex. Thanks you guys for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. ProDex is eating strawberry shortcake, chocolate bar, and a chicken leg. And that apparently makes him very happy, so that's pretty cool. Alright, love that. Alright guys, let's move on. Skitty is going to evolve into Delcaddy. Okay. Oh, it's cute too. Nice. Wow, it's so cute. Let's go look at the move set. Fake out, sing, attract, and double slap. I cannot believe it only gets so few moves. Weird. Growl, attract, sing, double slap. That's so weird, you guys. I guess let's move on. Del Caddy. Is this Kesleon? Kecleon? Is this an, evo an evolution? Um is not known to evolve into or from any other Pokemon. Look, it's a Gecko. Color swap Pokemon. It can change colors. Kecleon. It looks like a Gecko. Now let's go to it. Thief, Tail Whip, Astonish, Lick, Scratch, Bind, Shadow Sneak, Faint, Fury Swipes, Psybeam, Ancient Power, Slash, Shadow Claw, Camouflage. Not bad, you guys. Not bad at all. Sucker Punch, Synchro Noise. That's the first time I've seen that one. Synchro Noise. Interesting. That's his special move right there. Alright, I guess let's move on. Kesleon, Kecleon doesn't evolve into anything or from anything. This is Baltoy. Alright, let's have a look at Baltoy. He's a clay doll Pokemon. Interesting. Baltoy. Dual type ground and psychic Pokemon. Interesting. Introduced in Gen 3. Yep. Harden, Confusion, Rapid Spin, Mud Slap. Avoli is live. Ah, Avoli did the same stream. I told him do it and he was like, no, you do it. And then I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And he's like, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> That's funny. Avoli's live, you guys. Let's see. Shout out to Milton Rivera, Noah Jacobs, PokeGo Walking, Pikachu Girl, Mushi TV. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I would have kind of liked to be at the Pokemon Go Fest with all the YouTubers. Yeah, it was hard to see the YouTubers. Like, if you wanted to see Nick at Pokemon Go Fest, you had to wait in line at a sprint booth for over an hour. I saw people waiting in that line all day long just to talk to Nick. And I'm like, you know what's fun is when you meet Nick out and about and he's, like, playing the game and he's catching Pokemon and stuff. Just sitting there at a desk all day seemed kind of boring. I don't know. 
Avoli says, no, I'm not. Why did I just get a notification for Avoli? Let's go look at my notifications. I just got Avoli's notification. Avoli is live, learning Gen 3 in Pokemon Go, 59 seconds ago. Avoli, why does it say that you're live, but your live stream is offline? Yeah, you just got notifications, dude. There's people in your chat. Hey, there's people in your chat, dude. Avoli, what did you do? He's like, no, I'm not, but he is. He's lying to me. Avoli's a liar. Avoli, this is your chat right here. There are people in your chat right now. I don't understand what's happening. Avoli's going live. He's a liar. He's going live right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're going to try and get through all of these Pokemon. So there's our clay doll Pokemon, Baltoy. All right. Baltoy is followed by Clay Doll. Okay, apparently he's a Clay Doll Pokemon. Wow, it's another Clay Doll Pokemon named Clay Doll. I'm like real original, you guys. Super original. Okay. Uh, learn set. Hyper Beam right off the bat. Wow, Hyper Beam. This is a strong one. Mud Slap, Rock Tomb, Psy Beam, Cosmic Power, Power Trick, Self Destruct. That's always a strong one. Extra Sensory, Earth Power. Never seen that one before. That's cool. And Explosion. Kind of cool, you guys. Um. Poke Go Walking, could you guys help me by explaining how to do a live stream? Just download the, um, just download the YouTube gaming app, bro. That's all you need. <clears throat> YouTube gaming app. All right, shout out to Max Teavers. All right, let's move on, you guys. Nose Pass. Is it going to say Nose Type Pokemon? No, Compass Pokemon. I'm like, if you call it Nose Type Pokemon, seriously. Compass Pokemon. Apparently, this guy is a compass. They must have needed a compass in the game for or in the anime for some reason and they were like let's make a compass type pokemon he's got tackle harden block rock throw rock slide power gem rock blast stone edge earth power again there we go sandstorm that's not bad and zap cannon he can get zap cannon not bad at all you guys i know everybody's in avoli's offline chat you guys just come back to my stream okay avoli's not going live he said he's not let's move on nose pass does not evolve to or from any pokemon right here um, rock type Pokemon evolves into Probo Pass when leveled up in a, spe in a special magnetic field. What the heck? Is that a Gen 3? Probo Pass, number 476. I don't believe that that is Gen 3. Introduced in Generation 4. So he's a Gen 4 evolution. There's a lot of, of Pokemon that evolve in Gen 4 from previous evolutions in different, um, in different gens. Gen 4 is going to be lit. Look at this, you guys. A coal Pokemon. Look at him. He's blowing smoke. Holy crap. He's like a furnace. Oh, my God. Jono, do you have Xbox One or PS4? No, I don't. All right. Okay, so let's go see this guy's moves. This one's cool. I'm going to like this one, you guys. This is probably going to be one of my favorites. You guys, please don't ask for mod in the chat. I'm not going to mod anybody who asks for mod. That's the number one way that I will never, ever mod you. If you ask me for mod, I will not mod you, okay? Anybody who wants mod that badly, I don't want you to be mod. I want people who just want to be part of the channel and have a fun experience keeping the chat clean and keeping the chat lit. So begging for mod is definitely an indication that you just want it for the fame. And there's really no fame in being mod it actually is hard work all right you guys we got ember on this guy fire spin flame wheel smoke screen lava plume god i hope they bring lava plume that sounds sick flamethrower heat wave inferno these look like awesome moves does this guy evolve does not evolve into or from any other pokemon good to know good to know okay Torkoal. all right here we go sableye sableye has no evolutions but it evolves into mega sableye later on which is kind of interesting but um yeah sableye we already know about sableye you guys sableye is in the game right now everybody has seen sableye already all right gotta drink my coffee it's a coffee stream all right sableye doesn't evolve let's go to barboach barboach is a whiskers pokemon looks like a catfish so this is a fish you guys we got a fish pokemon Mud Slap, Mud Sport, Water Gun, Mud Bomb, Water Pulse, Magnitude, haven't seen that before, Earthquake, Muddy Water, I hope they bring Muddy Water. What is this guy? Water Type and Ground Type, he can get Earthquake. Not bad at all, you guys. Let's move on though, Wishcash. Wishcash, I told you it looked like a catfish. 
Whiskers Pokemon. All right, let's go check out his moves. He's a water and ground type, very cool. He's got the same thing, Mud Slap, Water Gun, Mud Bomb, Water Pulse, Earthquake, Aqua Tail, Muddy Water. Definitely some cool looking moves on this guy. We got a little fish. Dude, you guys, check it out, Love Disc. I know Love Disc from Magikarp Jump. Very nice. Uh, Lennon Blog says, Jono, are you ever going to do fan mail? I have done fan mail, but nobody mails me any fan mail. I actually need to go to the post office and check. I do have some fan mail right here from Michael Furtado that I have never opened. Uh, because I was gonna do it on my fan mail stream, but I only got one piece of fan mail So I was like well, I can't really do a fan mail stream I'm kind of stuck on the whole fan mail thing you guys because I don't really know what to do with that series because nobody's sending any mail So I'm like well, I mean, I I don't know you guys let me know what you think I should do on the fan mail I have fan mail. I haven't opened any of it because I just you know I I don't have that much fan mail to open so I can't do like a whole episode. So yeah Anyway, guys, that's where I'm at with the fan mail right now. If you guys want to send more fan mail, the address is in the description on every single video. It's really easy to send fan mail. But um, And shout out to Michael Furtado because um, he sent me this fan mail so long ago and I've never opened it on video. I feel really bad about it. Um, uh, how do I send you fan mail? In the description, it says right here, want to send me fan mail? Use this address. It's in the description on every single video. Um... If you guys want to send fan mail, send it because I'll do the fan mail series if people actually send fan mail, but right now nobody's sending it, so I haven't had any uh, option to do fan mail. And the whole fan mail series kind of died because once I stopped getting fan mail, I stopped making fan mail videos, and now nobody even knows that I accept fan mail, so I'm like, oh crap, I kind of ruined my fan mail series. I should probably shout it out in the videos more often. So here we have Love Disc. It does not evolve into or from any Pokemon. It's just a cool little collector Pokemon. I guarantee Love Disc is going to be a regional for um, Gen 3. I think it will be a Gen 3 regional. We'll see. It can get Water Gun, Water Pulse, Lucky Chant, Draining Kiss, Sweet Kiss, Take Down, Captivate, Soak, Hydro Pump. A lot of good moves on that guy. Not bad at all. All right, Love Disc. We're going to move on to Corefish. Alright, Corfish is a little, it's called a Ruffian Pokemon. I'm like, how did you guys even come up with that? He's a little Ruffian, alright. Ruffian is like a old English word that means like somebody who fights a lot and he's always in fights, you know? So I'm like, hey, if you, I guess you're a Ruffian, sure. Alright, let's go look at his moves. Bubble, Bubble Beam, Vice Grip, Harden, Knock Off, Razor Shell, Swords Dance, Crab Hammer, that looks like a sick move. Holy carp. Okay, let's move on though. Crawdont. Crawdont is the evolved form. He's a rogue Pokemon. I'm like, did you guys just make this stuff up? I think they just made it up, seriously. Pikachu Girl, please send me some fan mail. That'd be amazing. Alright, Pikachu Girl's literally getting her fan mail ready to send right now. I'm like, hey, go for it. Alright, you guys, Crawdont. Let's go look at his moves. Bubble, Bubble Beam. Oh, 100% Bulbasaur and Rancho. That's a six bond. Man, I would take that in a heartbeat. Rancho Cordova, 100% Bulbasaur. Dang it, I need that too. It's probably pretty far though. 29 minute spawn. I'm like, how far is it? Let's go see how far it is. 15 minute drive. Oh man. Oh, I could totally get there. It's okay, you guys. I need to go to the bathroom, you guys. Shout out to Taylor Young, my dude. Shout out to Brandon Lancome. Uh, shout out to Mod Gabriel. Taylor Young, what's up, dude? That's my dude right there. Um, he met me at the Viva Calle San Jose event. Very nice. You guys, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. I've been drinking too much coffee. So you guys can look at Feebaz. We're going to come back on Feebaz. I'm going to be right back, you guys. Okay? Hang on.
All right, you guys, I'm back. 100% Cyndaquil, too. Dang it, I'm missing everything. I already have all my Cyndaquils, though. All right, guys, Feebas. Let's go look at the moves for Feebas. Only Splash, Tackle, and Flail. Feebas is just like Magikarp. There is, like, it's just like a crappy Pokemon that evolves into something really good, okay? Um, yep, Feebas. Splash, Tackle, and Flail basically cannot do anything whatsoever, but it evolves into Milotic, my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon, you guys. I'm glad we finally made it to Milotic. I'm like, how many do we have left? Jeez, we have so many left, you guys. Ah, so many left. Oh, we have so many left. It's okay. We're gonna get through it, you guys. There are so many Pokemon in Gen 3. It's ridiculous. We have, we're about halfway through right now, you guys. We're at Milotic. Okay, we're about halfway through. Let's go look at Milotic's moves. Water Pulse, Water Gun, Aqua Ring, Twister, Dragon Tail, um, Hydro Pump. A lot of this stuff is already in the game right now, so that's pretty sweet. There's an Ampharos near me. Let's go see where that is. Oh my god, the Ampharos is totally gettable. Ten minutes away. Oh well, I'm not gonna go for it though. Alright. You guys, please send me fan mail, okay? If you guys wanna send fan mail, please send me fan mail. My fan mail series is dead because nobody has sent me anything in so long. So I'm just like done with the uh, with the fan mail series. Alright you guys, Milo take my favorite Pokemon. Let's go ahead and move on. We've got Carvana. Which evolves into Sharkpedo. This is a sick one. Savage Pokemon? OMG, Savage! Dude, Sav, Sav. That is so Sav. Alright, Savage Pokemon right here. He's got Bite, Rage, Aqua Jet, Assurance, Swagger. Dude, it's a Savage Pokemon with Swagger. Oh my god, it's a Savage Pokemon with Swagger. This is my new favorite Pokemon, you guys. What the heck is this thing called? Oh my god, Savage Pokemon. Carvana evolves into um, Sharkpedo, which is already a sick Pokemon. I know that Pokemon from uh, the Arc series, which was canceled, unfortunately. Arc series got canceled. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, Sharkpedo evolves into Mega Sharkpedo. That's only the only evolution it has. It has a Mega Evolve. All right, Sharkpedo Knight. <clears throat> Let's see here. Sharkpedo. Oh man, Night Slash, Faint. Uh, bite, Rage, Slash, Aqua Jet, Assurance, Swagger, it's got Swagger again, Ice Fang, Scary Face, oh yeah, Poison Fang, Crunch, uh, Night Slash, Skull Bash, this is gonna be a sick Pokemon, you guys. Sharkpedo, you gonna be killing it. Alright, Sharkpedo I'm very, very, very excited about. Let's move on so I can make good time here. Trap Pinch. Trap Pinch is going to evolve into Flygon at level 45. He is an Ant Pit Pokemon. This is basically an Ant Pokemon. All right. Um, Lennon Blog said, are you going to do a daily adventure? Yeah, I always do a stream in the morning. Um, daily adventure is kind of hit and miss. It depends on what I'm up to for the day. I may um, spoof to Korea and do that instead of a daily adventure. We'll see. I might go walk around and do the daily adventure. We'll see. Don't know. Yeah, Void Ventures, Arc is cancelled. The person who makes that mod has his own server, and I was playing on his server, and he deleted everything on the server, so it deleted our entire series. So, I'm just not gonna start all the way over. Um, I just thought, like, you deleted my series, I'm not gonna continue playing your game, you know, that's just how I feel about it, so. Yeah, remember, all these moves will not be in Pokemon Go. Avoli, some of them will come to Pokemon Go, they just added new, um, they just added new moves. To Pokemon Go just the other day, so some of these will come, they just have to add them one by one. But I think that some of these moves will come, and some of them are, are already in here. Hyper Beam, Earthquake, those are there. Uh, Dig will probably never come. I believe Bulldoze is in the game, Mud Slap is in the game, Faint Attack is in the game, I'm pretty sure Bite is in the game. So yeah, some of these moves are already in the game. But I've always right, some of them won't be coming. And some of these are actually Gen 4 moves too. This is Flygon, that little ant dude. Uh, Trap Pinch evolves into Flygon. Okay, so we got Flygon here. Let's go learn his moves. He's a Vibration Pokemon. Vibration Pokemon. They, I swear they just made that stuff up, seriously. All right, learn set. Dragon Breath. Whoa, is Dragon Breath coming back to Pokemon Go? That would be sick. Dude, Bulldoze, Mud Slap, Dragon Breath. Dude, they better bring it back. That'd be sick. Bug Buzz is in the game. 
Uh, I believe Rock Slide is in the game, Hyper Beam is in the game already, so some of these you'll actually see. Let's move on, Flygon, uh, next is Makuhita, it's a Guts Pokemon, whatever the heck that means. Um, evolves into Hariyama, starting at level 24, wow this is interesting, Makuhita. Alright, Tackle, Sand Attack, never gonna get that in the game. Uh, wake up slap. I'm like, what is this? Seismic toss? Smelling salts? Whatever that is. He's got close combat. He's got reversal again. My favorite move in the game. Oh, yeah. He's got reversal again. <clears throat> the new moves are status based and the game isn't coded for them. Not all of them, Avoli. Not all of them. Like, for example, um, we don't have, um, seismic toss, which is very likely just a fighting move, right? Belly drum. Well, that actually might be one of those where it gives a status. Yeah, see, look, status. All right. A lot of wake-up slap. Physical. All right. There's... That's not in the game, but it could come. There's no reason it couldn't come. Uh, if they put reversal in the game, that is going to be hilarious. I bet reversal will remove change all of his Pokemon. All right. So, yeah, but Avoli's right. Some of these are not in the game, but they will come. It's not like they're going to put no new moves into the game. So let's move on. Makuhita evolves into Hariyama. These are very Japanese names. He's an arm thrust Pokemon. Apparently he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like punching or something like that. Let's go check his learn set. Arm thrust, that looks like his main move. They should bring arm thrust into the game since that seems like his main move, right? Wake up slap, I would bet that they bring that. Let's move on though, uh, Electrike. We have an electric type Pokemon. I think that's the first electric type we've seen this whole time. Yeah, we haven't seen a single electric type this whole time. We're finally into the electric ones. All right, lightning Pokemon right here. This is a uh, dog, it looks like. Magnetric. It evolves into Magnetric next. Thunder Wave. Finally, some electric types. Thunder Fang, Discharge, Wild Charge, Thunder, Charge, Roar. Uh, we'll probably never see that in the game. Just finished getting my fan mail ready to send Pikachu Girl. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and send it. Get yourself a stamp. Electric evolves into Magnetric. So let's have a look at this guy. Oh, he's got a Mega Evolution too, Mega Magnetric. So this is a little, uh, he looks like an obelisk, doesn't he? He looks like a little obelisk. All right, learn set. Spark, Thunder Fang, Discharge, Wild Charge, Thunder. Not bad, Thunder Wave, Electric Terrain. I'd like to see a lot of these moves. More moves in the game is always a good thing to me. Keeps it interesting. People said they need the address. It's literally in the description. Thanks everybody for watching, really appreciate it. Avoli, how did you do that? Helmet with cross. That's hilarious. It looks like a Pokeball though. I need to go soon. Time zones. Alright. <clears throat> Alright you guys, let's move on. Numble. Looks like a baby camel, doesn't it? Num Pokemon. Why is it a num Pokemon? Learn set. Growl, Tackle, Ember, he's a fire type. Magnitude, Flame Burst, Lava Plume, I hope that comes in. Earth Power, Earthquake, Flamethrower, Double Edge. Really hope some of these moves come in the game. Look at this guy. Numble's first appearance is in Game Winning Assist, belonging to Julie. Ash and his friends found a metal full of these num Pokemon and Team Rocket wanted to steal them. Gotta love the anime, you guys. He's a fire and ground type. Fire and ground type, very nice. Let's see, Camerupt is our next one. Let's go see this guy. Eruption Pokemon, some kind of a, um, look he's got a Mega Evolve too, so he must be a good one. We got some kind of, uh, he looks like he's a Volcano. I bet he's gonna have that Volcano one. Yeah, Lava Plume, look he's got Lava Plume for his attack. That's tight. Earthquake, Eruption, oh yeah. We're looking at a lot of lava stuff, lava stuff here. Rock slide, fissure, eruption. These are all, you know, they, they sound like stuff that would happen at a volcano. Lennon Vlogs wants me to go to Southside. Avoli says, am I going to Southside today? I don't know. I might, I don't know what I'm doing today. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. So far, this is my plan for the day. And then after that, I'll figure it out. Camera up. Next, we've got Sfeel, which is the first evolution on the way to Walrein, which is cool. Sfeel. The seal Pokemon, although they didn't call it a seal, they call it a clap Pokemon. Apparently, he's gonna he's gonna clap his little hands. I don't think his hands are long enough to reach each other to clap. How's he supposed to clap? I don't think that that's possible. Um, 
Lennon, you're gonna get yourself timed out if you keep on spamming the same question, bro. It's really not that big of a deal if I go to Southside or not today. Um, you know, like, unless you live in uh, Sacramento and you want to meet up there, which if you did want to meet up there, you should probably put that instead of just asking me the same question over and over. Plus, my mod said to stop. So, yeah, you're gonna get timed out if you keep on spamming the same question. Look, my mod literally told you. All right. Now you're timed out. Oh, Giggity Poo said, which, uh, what made you choose uh, Team Instinct? It's actually kind of funny when the game first came out, my brother um, called me and he was like, hey, the game just came out, you should be playing it. And I was like, oh, it just came out. I, I was like waiting for it to come out and then I didn't notice it had come out. So then um, he was like, hey, get on Team Instinct. I'm gonna be on Team Instinct. And then um, I was like, okay. And then I did. And we've never played with each other one single time. It's kind of funny how we like never played with each other. All right, let's move on, you guys. Celio, Celio, ball roll Pokemon. They, they made this stuff up. The first one was a clap. The second one's a ball roll Pokemon. I'm like, what is this? Okay, they made up this stuff. Evolves into Wall Rain. Let's go see the move set. Powder Snow. We're starting to get some ice moves. Aurora Beam. Ice Ball. Getting some ice moves. Blizzard. There we go. Sheer Cold. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's move on though. Wall Rain is what we're all here for. Nice Wall Rain. That's one of the top defenders in the game it's not pokeball dude it's um helmet helmet with cross all right so we've got wall rain here this is literally one of the best pokemon in generation 3 you guys are going to want to remember this name he's a top 10 uh attacker and top 10 defender in generation 3 for pokemon go all right ice fang powder snow water gun Ice Ball, Aurora Beam, Hail, Blizzard, Sheer Cold, bunch of moves that you can expect to see on this guy. Wall Rain, super important Pokemon for the game. He's an Ice Break, po ice break Pokemon. Apparently he's breaking the ice with those big tusks. All right, Cacnea. This is one of my favorite Pokemon from the new generation, you guys. I just think it's cute and I think it's cool. You guys know I love all the cute Pokemon, so that's cool. Um, Wall Rain will be the next Blissey. Yes, that is probably correct. Exactly. Top 10 defender. Not exactly a great attacker, but you will see it in a lot of gyms just holding it down, just like Blissey. It's going to have incredible defense, incredible HP. Cacnea. Whoopsie. Here's some moves. Poison Sting. Needle Arm. We'll probably see Needle Arm come in the game. That's like one of his moves that he has to have. Um, Pin Missile. We'll probably see Pin Missile come in the game, I'm thinking. Uh, some of these just make sense and they're just physical moves that don't do anything. So yeah, I think that we'll start to see uh, these moves come in the game for sure. Needle Arm, Pin Missile, I think we'll see those in the game. Let's move on. Uh, Cacturn. Scarecrow Pokemon. They turned a cactus into a Scarecrow. Does that make any sense? It seriously doesn't make sense to me. Um, okay, interesting. Let's move on uh, to the moves. Revenge. I thought it said reversal for a sec. It says revenge. <laughs> um, Leech Seed, Sand Attack, Needle Arm, Payback, Sucker Punch, Energy Ball, Pin Missile. A lot of these aren't even in the game, so we're going to have to have new moves come in the game in order for us to even have some of these Pokemon. Like Sucker Punch, is he just going to have Sucker Punch and nothing else? Like, that's the only one that's in the game right now. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. Not sure what's going to happen there. Cacturn. All right, evolves from Cacnea, starting at level 32, which does not apply to Pokemon Go. All right, Snorunt. I believe this is one of those that does not evolve into anything, but let's see. Oh, no, evolves into Glalie. Okay, the next one after that, Glalie. This is a Snow Hat Pokemon, kind of interesting there. Let's see what we got. Let's go to movesets. Powder Snow, Icy Shard, Icy Wind, Ice Fang, Frost Breath, that would be sick, Frost Breath for a fast move, uh, Blizzard, alright, Crunch, we got Crunch here, Dark type, alright, not bad, not bad, so Snorunt and Glalie are the evolved forms of each other, we have a face Pokemon, and apparently Glalie evolves into a Mega, so it must be a good one, I found that only the ones that evolve into a Mega are good ones, so... Yeah, Glalie, all right, not bad, not bad. Snorunt's final form, one of Snorunt's final forms, the other being Frostlass. 
Alright, whatever Frost Last is, it's probably a different gen. Looks like we are Gen 4. Another one is a female Snorun when exposed to a Dawnstone. Snorun's final forms. This is Gen 4, I believe. Okay, another Gen 4 Pokemon that evolves. So yeah, Glalie, face Pokemon. Let's go see a couple of the moves and then we'll move on. Powder Snow, Freeze Dry, Ice Shard, Icy Wind, Ice Fang, Frost Breath, Blizzard. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, let's go to Lunatone. Lunatone is not known to evolve. Alright, it is considered to be a counterpart of Soul Rock. Even though they don't evolve to each other, they're apparently related. People just think of it that way, I guess. It's a Psychic and Fairy type with a Rock type. So let's go see. We have got Psychic and Rock, and he can learn Fairy moves. Kind of interesting. Let's go click on his Learn Set. Moonblast, Tackle, Confusion, Rock Throw, Rock Slide, Psychic, Stone Edge, Future Sight. Those are all moves that are in the game right now, so we could get all those moves. Um, Lennon Vlogs says, I live in Sacramento. I just want to hang out with you and Avoli. All right, that's a little bit different than just begging me <laughs> the same question. But um, <clears throat> Pikachu says, I want to meet you, but I live in Young Youngstown, New York. Um, Lennon Vlogs, I don't know what I'm doing today, so I'm sorry um, that I can't just tell you what I'm doing. So, Avoli's in downtown Sac just about every night. It's true. He comes and hangs out. If you want to get in touch with us and hang out, you really have to get on Twitter and hit us up on Twitter because there's no other way to get in touch, you know. Um, there just isn't a way to get in touch with us aside from Twitter. Unless you're already on my Snapchat, which I know you're not. So yeah, here we go. Meteorite Pokemon. Was the last one a Meteorite Pokemon too? Meteorite Pokemon. Interesting. They're both Meteorite Pokemon. Okay. Rock type and Psychic. They basically match each other. I'm guessing they'll have the same moves. Oh no, this one has Fire type moves. Oh yeah, because he's the Sun. Cool. Flare Blitz, Rock Throw, Fire Spin, a couple of fire moves in there, not bad, not bad. Alright, Soul Rock and Lunatone. Let's move on to Azuril. Azuril is a Polka Dot Pokemon. Um, it evolves into Marill when leveled up with high friendship. Oh my god. Azuril and then Marill and then Azumarill. So we've got a baby a preform Azuril right here. We got a pre uh, Azumarill or whatever it's called. All right, you guys. Uh, Lennon Vlogs, if you're a kid, then you probably don't need to be meeting up with adults, you know, in real life. You know what I mean? Like, I usually don't plan meetups with little kids because that's like kind of creepy and weird. So, um, yeah, probably don't plan to meet up with me, um, you know, unless your parents are going to come or something like that. But, um, yeah, like, I'm really not going to make any plans to meet up with kids because that's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like, I have met up with some kids in the past and it was weird and it just ends up being weird, you know? So I'm like, I really, you know, I'm not going to make any plans to meet up with kids. If I do a public meetup and your parents want to bring you, that's one thing, but I'm not going to make specific plans to meet up with kids. If you see that I'm live and I'm in Southside Park and you roll out to Southside Park, that's totally fine. I don't mind that, but I'm not going to like make a plan to meet up with you when you're a kid. That's just creepy. Um, seriously, though. All right, you guys, this is Spoink. Evolves into Grumpig. Okay, Psychic type is a pure Psychic type. Interesting. Here it is in the anime. Kind of interesting. Let's go look at some of the moves. Splash, Psy Wave, Odor Sleuth, Psy Beam, Zen Headbutt, Psy Shock, Psychic. Some of these are not in the game. Power Gem, Magic Coat, Confuse Ray. Some of these are not in the game, so we'll have to see what happens there. Let's move on to Grumpig. We're literally going to look at every single Pokemon in Generation 3, you guys. I've never seen these guys, so it should be pretty good. Uh, Grumpig, Manipulate Pokemon. He's a Psychic type, so he can manipulate you. That's pretty interesting. Here he is in the anime right here. Let's go ahead and look at his moves. Psybeam. Zen Headbutt. Psy Shock, Psychic. Snore, Bounce. A couple of interesting moves here. Teeter Dance. We don't have some of those. Belch. We don't have some of those. Odor Sleuth. 
Definitely don't have those in the game yet. So we got Grumpig. All right, we're moving pretty fast here now. We're getting through these guys. This one's Plulse. Plusel. This one's called Plusel. Plusel. Cheering Pokemon. He's a cheering type Pokemon. It looks like Pikachu, doesn't he? All right, cute little guy. Does not evolve, so this could be another regional right here that does not evolve. We got Nuzzle, Thunder Wave, Spark, Electro Ball, Discharge, Charm on there, Fairy type move on there. Uh, Thunder. All right, Nasty Plot. Oh, I want to see the Nasty Plot, so too. Entrainment. Not entertainment, entrainment, whatever that means. Okay, that was Plusel. Let's go to Minan, another electric type. It does seem to be related to Plusel. Okay, you guys, so Plusel is like moon, is like that moon and sun one. They are like related to each other even though they don't evolve from each other. So that's kind of interesting. Another cheering type Pokemon, kind of, kind of interesting. Probably has the same moves as the other one. Yep, it's got a psychic type move in there. Got a bunch of electric type moves in there, normal type moves in there. Shout out to Pikachu Girls, shout out to Gracie, shout out to uh, Lennon Vlogs, shout out to Pokemon Go Time, Deadpool 9, hey bro. Diego is still here. He says, hey bro, can we be pen pals? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You can you can tweet me, all right? <laughs> all right, you guys. I'm honestly just trying to move through these guys a little bit quick now because I want to get to the main ones that are really good. Here's Mawile. Mawile. Um, is one of the ones that I know from, uh, that, that, what was that one with the figures? I can't even think of it. Um, the game that I stopped playing that had the figures, um, I can't even think of it. They are positive and negative. That makes sense, actually. Evoli, they're positive and negative for the last two. Um, for Minun and Plusel, positive and negative. That actually makes sense. What was that game? Um, uh, Pokemon Duel. Pokemon Duel. I could not think of it. Shout out to... Um, let's see, Leopard, shout out to Leopard12389, shout out to Jamie Pokemon Go Boss, I know, Mawile, let's, Mawile has a mega evolution, it's like Fairy, Steel, Dark, Normal, Ghost, this guy gets every type of move, this is crazy, let's move on though, Mawile, let's go to Meditite, Med, Meditite, Evolves into Metacham. This is a Meditate Pokemon, so he's going to be fighting and psychic type. That's interesting. Fighting and psychic. That's a good, you know, that's good stat or that's good uh, types right there. Let's go over to his moves. Confusion, Meditate, Force Palm, High Jump Kick. Whoa, High Jump Kick. Nice. He's got Reversal again. My favorite move. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and move on. Meditate, Metacharm, Meditate, and Metacharm, right here. Oh, Metacharm has a Mega Evolution. That's cool. Meditate Pokemon. Fighting and Psychic type. Let's go check the moves. We have got... High Jump Kick again. Reversal. Confusion. Force Palm. Thunder Punch. Ice Punch. A couple of different punch moves here. Fire Punch. There it is. Fire Punch. Thunder Punch. I was looking for all the punches. All right, not bad, not bad. Meta Cham, or Meta Charm? No, Meta Cham. Did I say it wrong? Meta Cham, Meta Cham. I said Charm, Meta Cham. All right, I said it wrong. Swablu. Let's look at this guy, Swablu. This is a cotton bird Pokemon. He's got these cotton wings. I've never seen this Pokemon before, you guys. That's interesting. Peck. Fury Attack, Take Down, Natural Gift, whatever that is, that sounds cool. Mirror Move, Cotton Guard, that's interesting. Dragon Pulse, he can get Dragon Pulse, he can get Moon Blast. Not bad. Let's see, Swab Blue is going to evolve into Altaria. I've never seen these guys. And this one's going to evolve from Swab Blue. Alright, it's got a Mega Evolution, that's not bad. Altaria, Humming Pokemon, looks like a Hummingbird a little bit. He's got flying type moves, dragon type moves, ghost type moves, normal fairy and ice type moves, including grass type moves as well. So this is a very well-rounded Pokemon. Lots of different moves here. All right. Let's see. Altaria is going to be rare. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Shining Shink says Altaria is going to be rare. That's kind of cool, honestly. I like it when they're rare. Okay, let's move on. Altaria, we got Why Not. Why Not is the... 
It evolves into a Wobbuffet. That's one that I actually knew. I actually knew this one. It evolves into Wobbuffet. Not bad, not bad. It's a baby Wobbuffet, basically. He's got barely any moves. Splash, Charm, Encore, Counter, Mirror Coat, Safeguard, and Destiny Bond. I believe Mirror Coat is actually in the game. I'm not sure, though. Um, isn't Mirror Coat in the game, you guys, already? I think it is. Shout out to you guys who are watching. I appreciate you guys watching, hanging out with me. I'm just going to cruise through these last guys pretty quickly. We got Duskull and Dusclops. I think you guys know Duskull and Dusclops. We already have those types in the game. We're going to get uh, Shiny Duskull and Shiny Dusclops on my channel eventually. I'm still trying to catch those guys, but I never did catch them. So there we go. Duskull, Dusclops. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Now we have Rosalia. Wow. Thorn Pokemon. Oh, it's a Rose Pokemon. Cool. Very cool. So there's a grass and poison type. It's got a bunch of grass and poison type moves, which you would expect. Magical Leaf, Giga Drain, Mega Drain, Poison Sting, stuff we'll never see in the game, I'm sure. Grass Whistle, all status effect stuff that we'll never see in the game, so not bad. All right, let's move on. Rosalia, I don't believe is going to evolve. This is one of the most important Pokemon in the game right now, you guys. Slackhoth, Vigoroth, and Slack King. Those are going to be the top Pokemon in Generation 3 that you actually are going to want to catch as much as possible. I believe Slackhoth will be hatching from 10k eggs. All right, just about guaranteed. He's going to have Scratch. I don't know if they'll give us Yawn. It's a status effect one. It's one of his main moves, but I don't think that they'll give it to us. Um, Faint Attack, Covet, Chip Away, Counter is already in the game, Flail, Play Rough is already in the game. So they're going to need to add a few moves for this guy to have a well-rounded move set. We'll see if they actually do it. See you later, Diego. Welcome to the Mod Squad, bro. Please put a, um, a profile picture on your profile if you don't have one. Sometimes they have one and it just doesn't show. Let's go see his channel. Yep, he does not have one. Diego, please put a profile picture so I can at least know that it's you. All right, I, I do know it's him because he texted me, but still. 100% Geo, dude. Not doing that. All right, Slackoff evolves into Vigoroth. All right, second evolution. Wild Monkey Pokemon. All right, this guy has got some fantastic moves. Fury Swipes is an insane move for this guy. Uh, Slash. Obviously going to be good. Scratch is going to be decent. Uh, you get, I really hope that they bring Fury Swipes. That is like his move. They Basically, that move exists in the game because of Slackoff. So, or because of uh, Vigoroth. So, it's my opinion that they have to, inv to bring in Fury Swipes. That's his move. You know what I mean? And let's move on, of course, to Slack King. The strongest Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Period. Yeah, Volion puts the enemy Pokemon to sleep. But it's his move. You know what I mean? Like, it's his... It's like his his trademark move, so they better bring it, you know what I mean? Alright, you guys, let's keep on moving on. We got Slack King, strongest Pokemon in Pokemon Go, over 5,000 CP, you guys. You're going to see this thing in every gym as soon as he comes out. They're going to have to nerf him. So I'm going to be watching for moves on this guy that get nerfed. And basically, you're going to want to get every single move set you can get of a Slack King and then hang on to them because they may nerf the moves and you may not be able to get those moves again. So, uh, that's my plan. I'm going to be getting their movesets as fast as possible. Oh, my neck really hurts, you guys. Alright, Slack King. There we go. Let's move on to Gulpin. Gulpin. Stomach Pokemon. He's like a little stomach just sitting there with no body. He's got poison type moves. He's got one psychic type move here. Acid Spray. Um, Sludge Bomb. Belch. I hope we get Belch. Gunk Shot. That's a good one right there. 120 power, that's gonna be a strong one. All right, Gulpin is gonna evolve into Swalot, I believe. Swalot evolves from Gulpin, yep. Poison Bag Pokemon, we evolved from a stomach Pokemon to a poison bag, very interesting. Um, Gunk Shot, Sludge, Acid Spray, Toxic, um, Spit Up, that's kind of interesting. Spit Up, that's kind of an interesting one. Gastro Acid. Uh, those are both status effect moves. They, you won't see them in the game. Gunk Shot. All right, not bad, not bad. Sludge Bomb. Some of these are already in the game, so we can expect to see them. Let's move on to Tropius. Tropius is a weird one. It does not evolve from anything. Uh, not known to evolve into or from any Pokemon, and it just has this crazy weird look. It's a grass-type Pokemon, fruit Pokemon right here. Um, I don't know why it doesn't evolve. It looks like it should evolve. 
Let's go over to the moveset. Leaf Storm. It's got flying type moves like Air Slash. It's got Leaf Tornado. Kind of a mix of flying and air there, even though it's a... Or of uh, flying and grass type there, even though it's a grass type move. Leaf Tornado. Solar Beam. There we go. Leaf Storm. Not bad. Leaf Storm is actually higher than Solar Beam. I wonder if they're going to bring that in the game. Probably. Let's see. Pikachu Girl. Keep it lit or don't say anything at all, please. All right. Pikachu Girl. Keep it lit or don't say anything at all. I'll just time you out if you're not going to be lit in the stream. <clears throat> Alright, after Tropius, Tropius is actually one of the Pokemon that I'm most excited about because it just looks really, really cool. Alright, so happy about that one. I thought it evolved from something, but now we know. That's why I'm doing this, because now we actually know. Let's go look at the, the rest of them. Whismur. Alright. Whismur is a Whisper Pokemon. There's so many new Pokemon, you guys. It's ridiculous. It's got a normal type for just about everything. A couple of Ghost and Psychic moves. Not bad. 100% Execute in North Sack. Not bad. Let's see. Hyper Voice. I don't think we're going to see that. That's a special move. Sleep Talk. Status Effect. Uh, a lot of these are status effect moves. So, I always wonder, like, there's so many Pokemon in the game that are, like, their entire thing is based around status effects, and there's no status effects in this game, so it's just kind of weird to me. So, this is a big voice Pokemon. Look, he's got the speakers for his ears. All right. He is called uh, Loudred. Evolves from Whismur. All right. Whismur and Loudred. All right. Let's go see his moves. He's got Astonish, Howl, Screech, Supersonic, Uproar, Roar, Sleep Talk, Hyper Voice. You guys can tell everything is based around his voice, Echoed Voice. He's got some really interesting voice moves, so that's pretty cool. Um, Loudred, all right, you guys? Loudred. He's got all these crazy speakers. That's going to be cool. I think I'm going to have fun catching that one. Let's go see Exploud. Oh, wow. He evolves one more time. Cool. Loud Noise Pokemon. Look at all those. He looks like... Um, like uh, like an organ where you have like all the pipes that go up from the organ and then he's got all those pipes at the top of his head looks like an organ all right let's go learn set boom burst pound echoed voice crunch howl screech supersonic uproar sleep talk hyper voice boom burst hyper beam oh yeah synchro noise this guy's gonna be sweet he's got some sick moves very cool exploud evolves from loudred all right, pretty stoked about that. Next up, we have got... Where is it? Clam Pearl. Whatever that is, Clam Pearl. Okay. A bivalve Pokemon, whatever that means. Um... Pikachu Girl, don't get yourself timed out, please. Let's go look at his learn set, his moves. Clamp, Water Gun, Whirlpool, Iron Defense, and Shell Smash. Kind of interesting there. Barely any moves for this Pokemon. Evolves into Huntail when holding a Deep Sea Tooth or Gorobis when trading a Deep Sea, when holding a Deep Sea Scale. Interesting. So we have got Clamp Pearl, Huntail, all right, deep sea Pokemon, kind of interesting looking, very interesting. Shout out to Square Power One Four Nine. Shout out to Deadpool Nine as well. Um, let's see, what is this thing? Water type Pokemon that can get dark moves and ice moves, and it even has a poison move. Very interesting. It has Dive, Water Pulse. I really hope they bring Dive and Dig into the game. Hydro Pump, right there, not bad. And then I guess it evolves into a second one, Gorobis. Gorbis, South Sea Pokemon, that's interesting, I wonder why they call it that, let's go check his moves, kind of the same thing, a lot of Psychic and Fairy type over here, the other one was more of, um, let's go see what it was, we're going to compare these two real quick, this one was more like Dark, alright, Dark and Water and Ice, FSU updated his channel he's got a video on his channel all right so Gorobis and Huntail we're done with them let's move on to Absol Absol 
disaster Pokemon. What is that, like an avalanche or something? Is this an ice type? No, it's a dark type Pokemon. Kind of interesting. 100% Ivysaur in Ardent Arcade. That is a sick spawn, you guys. It's got an hour on it. Wow, I'm gonna have to go for that spawn, you guys. 100% Ivysaur. I wonder if it really has an hour, because it's a 19 minute drive to get there. Let's move through this and maybe I'll be able to go get that Ivysaur. All right, we got Absol. Let's move on. We've seen Shepard and Bannett, but let's just look at them for a second. Shepard and Bannett are already in the game. We got Shepard and we got Bannett. Welcome, oops. Welcome to the game, Shepard and Bannett. Bannett was actually one of my favorite Pokemon that I'm excited about. He's got that zipper mouth and he just looks really cool. I thought his uh, shiny form was gold, but it's not actually. So, yeah. Uh, Frank Nye says, how do I find the motivation to keep playing the game? Growing tired of the game after having everything? Just wait for Gen 3 to come out, it's not that far. Also, I've been trying to get a 100% of every species. If you can't use trackers to get 100% of every species, then you can try to get a 90% and higher of every species. That's actually a goal for organic players that's more achievable. You can get, you know, the Pokemon 90% and up from eggs, so that's not too hard. Alright, you guys. Bannet. After that, we've got Sea Viper. Sea Viper is a Fang Snake Pokemon. I've never seen this thing before. He is a Poison type snake. All right, let's go check his moves. Poison Tail, Poison Fang, Poison Jab. I think that's already in the game. Night Slash. I think is in the game. Not bad. All right, we got Zangoose. I think a lot of people are excited about Zangoose. I think this is gonna be a um. It's gonna be a uh, regional. I just have a feeling this is gonna be a regional. It doesn't evolve into anything. It looks like a cat ferret. It's called cat ferret Pokemon, kind of interesting. Um, quick attack, fury cutter, home claws, slash, crush claw, never seen that before. False swipe, all right, some interesting ones. X scissor, that's actually in the game right now. Swords dance, I really think they need to bring swords dance in the game. Close combat is already in the game. All right, so there we go, Zangoose, Reliacanth. Let's go have a look at this guy. We're almost done, you guys. Longevity Pokemon. He looks like some kind of historic Pokemon. Um, let's see. He's got some ground and water type Pokemon, or uh, type moves. He is a rock type and water type. Relicanth, Relicanth, whatever you call it. All right, that one doesn't evolve. This one is Aaron. Aaron evolves into Agron, all right? So this is actually a pretty important Pokemon. This is gonna be one of those Pokemon that you find in like a 10K egg and you're gonna wanna get as many candies as you can because Agron is gonna be a mega contender in the game. Let's go see. He actually has a lot of moves for such a small Pokemon. He's got steel type moves because Agron is a steel type Pokemon. He is a steel and rock type Pokemon, which is pretty OP. He evolves into Laron, which is also a steel rock type. Okay, let's go check the moves. Laron, basically same moves. Metal Claw, Rock Tomb, uh, Iron Head, Rock Slide, Iron Tail, Heavy Slam. Bunch of steel type moves. All right. So this guy, Laron, is going to evolve into Agron, which is a top 10 attacker and top 10 defender in the game. Shout out to Rowan's Gaming Channel. Just got here. Thanks for hanging out, bro. Um, what can I say about Agron? He's got a mega evolution. He's one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. He's gonna have a ton of moves that he can learn and they're all super strong. You know, look at the move, the damage on all these moves. Even his weak moves are super strong. 70 for headbutt, I mean like that's crazy. That's almost, that's over half of, you know, some of his bigger moves. So that's pretty good. He's gonna be a really, really, really top Pokemon. He's in my top six attackers video. Uh, really, really good Pokemon. Agron, one of the top Pokemon of the new game, all right? We are getting so close to being done here. So let's go ahead, cast form. I've never seen some of these Pokemon, you guys. I knew this was gonna be a long stream because I've never seen some of these Pokemon. Let's go have a look. 29 watching, thanks for watching, you guys. I officially killed my coffee. Okay, so this is Cast Form. He's a weather Pokemon. Apparently it has different forms. What, really? Cast Form, Volbeat, Illuminous, Lyleep. I don't know what these are. It evolves into 
cast form. Interesting. I wonder, rainy form, sunny form, snowy form. I don't get this. During normal weather, during harsh sunlight, it is sunny form and a fire type. You guys, this is so weird. They, how are they going to implement this? This, this Pokemon is not coming to the game. I guarantee this is going to be like Smeargle. They are not going to release this Pokemon in the game because the logic is too hard. They're just not going to do it, you guys. I almost guarantee that they are not going to do this, okay? Cast form apparently has three different forms depending on what the weather is at that particular time. So, yeah, you guys. I don't foresee that one coming into the game. Just saying. Let's move on to Volbeat. Volbeat is a Firefly Pokemon. Oh, that's so cute. Nice. That's a cute one. Apparently, they're 100% male. There's no females of this species. That's kind of interesting. He's got a bunch of Bug-type moves and some Fairy-type moves as well. Psychic move in there. Not bad. I'm going to rush through these last ones, you guys, because the only important ones are like Metagross and a couple other ones. So, Volbeat is going to evolve into Illumice. Oh, no. Not known to evolve from any other Pokemon. Whoa, so Volbeat doesn't evolve either? Apparently, Volbeat does not evolve either. Yep, does not evolve. Here's another one that does not evolve. These guys look like, yeah, it's related to Volbeat. Can produce eggs that contain either Illumis or Volbeat. Look, this one's 100% female. The other one's 100% male. So these guys are related to each other. Kind of interesting. So Volbeat's Illumis related. Now we've got Lilip. All right. Lilip is going to evolve into Cradley. It's a sea lily Pokemon that looks like a sea anemone. Alright, Lily. Took a quick look at you. Cradley is the evolved form of Lily. We have a barnacle Pokemon here. Kind of interesting. Um, shout out to a Voli. He says they're mates. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, kind of like Nidoran male and Nidoran female. They're like male and female versions of the same Pokemon. They kind of went back to that model, I guess. I don't really know why they did that. Alright, Cradley or Cradley. Let's go to Anorith. We're gonna wrap up this stream, you guys. It's gotten pretty long now. Anorith is the old shrimp Pokemon. Not to be confused with the young shrimp, apparently. Okay, he's the old shrimp. All right, we have an old shrimp Pokemon. Let's go to Armaldo. He's the plate Pokemon. He evolves from Anorith. Armaldo I used in uh, Pokemon Duel. That was my favorite uh, card or whatever in Pokemon Duel. One of the best ones you can get. Pretty sweet, actually. Armaldo is going to be a sick Pokemon in Pokemon Go, but he was not listed as one of the top 10, so I'm kind of curious about that. Now, here we get to the, some of the best Pokemon in the rest of the game, you guys. We got Gardevoir, we got Salamence, we got Metagross, we got Regirock, Regiice, Registeel. Alright, these are a bunch of really sick Pokemon that are coming to Pokemon Go, but nobody really knows when. So that should be pretty interesting to see what happens there, most definitely. Alright you guys, so Ralts is a fairy type Pokemon that's going to evolve into Curlia, and Curlia is a fairy type and psychic type Pokemon that is going to evolve into Gardevoir. Alright you guys, this is a really important Pokemon for Gen 3. You definitely want to be aware of this Pokemon. Um, Alright you guys, Gardevoir, top 10 attacker, is a fairy type, so you can use it versus Dragon. We finally have something you can fight against Dragonite with that doesn't suck in the game. Like, does anybody even use Clefable? Not really, nobody uses that Pokemon. So yeah, we finally have a good fairy type Pokemon. Up next is Bagon. Bagon is the Dragon type. He is the, um, he's the miniature form of Salamence, alright? We got Shel Bagon, Shelgon, and Salamence, okay? These are the three, probably, like, Dragon-type Pokemon that you need to know about in this game. Bagon is going to be from 10k Egg, I almost guarantee it. Shelgon is going to be the evolved form. And then, of course, we've got Salamence, the new Dragonite of Pokemon Go. This is a sick Pokemon. This is the new Dragon-type uh, meta for generation 3 so that's pretty exciting Salamence you guys the one Pokemon you really need to know about all right Beldum Metagross and Metang Are evolutions of each other. Let's go ahead and look at these guys All right, you guys Beldum this little guy right here that looks like some sort of uh, He looks like a key that you would put into like a weird futuristic like spaceship to start it doesn't he he looks like a like a weird key or something like that he evolves into Metang, which is actually kind of sick looking already. And then he evolves into Metagross, 
which is another sick Pokemon in the game. Let's go ahead and look at his um, at his learn set. Look at all these moves, you guys. Metal Claw, Confusion, Bullet Punch, Zen Headbutt, Psychic, Meteor Mash. They actually added Meteor Mash into the game. That's in the game in the back end now, so that's pretty exciting. All right, Metagross. That is, uh, interestingly, Evoli's favorite Pokemon. It is a Steel type and Psychic type, you guys. Steel and Psychic. So you're going to be able to use Fire types and Dark types against this. So you'll finally have a use for your Tyranitar with, um, with Bite and Fire Blast. That's actually going to be the perfect moveset to take down Metagross. All right, you guys. Now we are almost done here. We got Regiark, Reggie Rice. Uh, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. These are basically uh, the three legendary titans of Hoenn. Okay, so these are the legendary Pokemon of the Hoenn. All right, they are Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. Basically, these are going to be your legendaries. They won't be unlocked until later in the game. They may even be EX raids, but we'll see. All right, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. We've also got. Kyrogue, Groudon, Rayquaza. These are another set of Pokemon that are pretty insane in the game. Um, legendary Pokemon, you guys. They're legendaries, okay? Groudon, legendary Pokemon, all right? Ground type, legendary Pokemon, all right? Rayquaza, dragon and flying type, legendary Pokemon. These are your legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Go, you guys. Groudon, Kyrogue, Rayquaza. Everybody knows those. We also have Latias, Latios. All right. These are also some legendary Pokemon. I don't know why they have so many legendaries in Gen 3, but it's like Gen 3 is basically all, um, it's basically all, uh, legendaries. Okay, so we have Latias, Latios, all right, male version and female. Look, 100% female for Latias, 100% female or male for Latios. All right, so we got some male and female. Um, these are dragon and psychic type, okay? Very rare in the game. They're gonna be hard to find. We got Girachi, we got Deoxys, we got Kimiko. All right, and these are our last Pokemon, you guys. I don't even know when we'll see these. These are mythical Pokemon, okay? Mythical Pokemon right here. Mythical Pokemon Generation 3. You're basically not gonna see these guys. Uh, Wind Chime Pokemon. Chimico um, evolves from Chingling when leveled up. That's interesting. I don't know about that one though. That one's not a legendary or a mythic. All right. And I believe that is the end, you guys. Then we just have the unknowns. We're going to have unknown exclamation and unknown question mark come into the game. All right, you guys, unknown exclamation, unknown question mark will come into the game with Generation 3. And that's it, you guys. If you actually made it through the entire stream, put a 1 in the chat. All right, you guys, 1 in the chat, you guys. If you actually made it through that entire thing, I'm really proud of you guys, too. Um, I think I'm going to try and catch this... Uh, this 100% Ivysaur. I really hope that it has a full hour on it like it says it does because I'm going to drive all the way over there and try to get it. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We looked at every single Gen 3 Pokemon. It took like two hours, but we did it, you guys. We actually went through every single Gen 3 Pokemon. Trico, Torchic, Mudkip are uh, starters. And then we got Myth Mythical and Legendary Pokemon as well. So very excited about that. I can't believe you guys actually made it through the... I can't believe you guys actually made it through the entire stream. I made it through the entire stream as well, so I'm going to put my own one. All right. Uh, I made it through the stream. You guys made it through the stream. We did it together. That is actually pretty lit. Dude, thank you, everybody, for watching. I really, really appreciate it. We actually just looked at every single Generation 3 Pokemon. It took a really long time, but we did it. But I'm going to leave you guys. I want to go catch this 100%. Um, Ivysaur, that is a sick spawn. I have to catch that thing. I need 100% Ivysaur for my 100% Pokedex anyway. So I want to go and do that. So I'm going to get out of here. It was a long stream anyway. Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate everybody watching. I really appreciate all my awesome subscribers. If you actually watched the whole thing, put a one in the chat. Um... Uh, when you're watching the replay if you guys actually watch the replay and you watch the whole thing put a one in the chat Frank Nye says time for work now great watching you talking. Thank you so much Frank for the donation Dab, dab, dab. Oh my god. Thank you for the donation two dollars We actually got some decent donations on this stream considering how long it was 
All right, everybody, I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate my subscribers. I really appreciate everybody watching my streams. This was my morning stream. I skipped my other regularly scheduled content so I could do this because I thought it was a good idea. So I was like, let's do it. Shout out to Avoli for the idea. He gave me the idea. I really appreciate the idea, dude. Such a good idea for a stream. I think a lot of people really wanted to see this content, and now it's on my channel. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for subscribing. Please subscribe and hit the bell. I go live, like, all day long. All right. Dabs for the homies. Dabs for Maple Plays. Yeah. If you guys are at home, just hit that dab, all right? Just do it. It's fun. There's no reason not to. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to my amazing subscribers. And peace. Avoli's out of here. See you, Avoli. All right, bye, everybody. Put a heart in the chat if it's lit. Bye, everyone. Later. All right, bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace.